So this is my uh, Nexus 5 running Bringo. Um, and what I'm doing is setting it up so that it, uh, it looks as if it's in the car. So I've got a, uh, a battery pack here to, to power the, um, the device. <clears throat> and what I'm gonna just demonstrate is how I've got the phone set up to be almost like an industrial appliance. So uh, in the car, the Nexus 5 is um, in the glove box. And I ran a USB cable um, from the glove box behind the console down to uh, a power distribution center, excuse me, that gets its 12 volts from the car's power port. That power port is powered by the ignition switch. So whenever the car is on, it gets power. Whenever it's off, it doesn't. So mimicking that in environment here in my garage is not really difficult. The battery pack is just gonna serve as basically the car's 12 volt source. So right now, the, uh, the device, the, the Nexus 5 is powered up and as it was in the car, or as if it was in the car, Bringo is the active application. Um, I can minimize Bringo to show the screen. There's the screen. You notice here in this bar, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and uh, the um, GPS radio are all active. Um, and it's charging at a very small milliamp rate. That's cool, I don't really care about that. What I wanna see here and what I wanna demonstrate is whether or not I've got the phone set up so that when power is applied or taken away, Bringo, uh, or actually the phone, um, is reliable. Um, so how, first I'm gonna demonstrate what I use to do that. This is Automated Pro, and Automated Pro allows the phone to run certain functions based upon certain triggers or criteria. And I've just basically created three um, uh, what are called um, rules. And the EV on rule is the one we're gonna look at here. Um, what it has as its um, responsibilities is whenever, if you can read that, external power is connected to the device, that's the trigger, and then it takes a series of actions. It turns off uh, the screen timeout, it uh, deactivates airplane mode, turns on Bluetooth, GPS, uh, turns off mobile data, sets the volume streams all to max, and turns on Wi-Fi. Um, I want it to do that so that the phone can take advantage of uh, the GPS for Bringo, and then I'll have my, uh, my iPhone with me, and it'll have its personal hotspot turned on so Wi-Fi is accessible to the Nexus 5. And then, of course, via Bluetooth, this phone talks to the car's infotainment center and allows me to display the Bringo maps on uh, the seven inch screen in the dash. Um, that's, so EV on is whenever power is connected. EV off is whenever power is disconnected and it runs through a series of similar um, actions. And um, one of those important ones here is to turn off the screen. Um, and the, another one is to return the screen to the home screen because a lot of times Bringo will be the active application and it'll be in the front. Um, and what happens is when Bringo loses its Bluetooth connection, it puts a message on the screen that needs an OK uh, button tapped. And to avoid that, I have the, the phone return itself to the home screen because if I don't do that, then Automated Pro won't um, turn the screen off and the screen will stay on. The screen is an enormous energy hog and eventually it'll drain the battery and the phone will shut itself down. I have a contingency for that. Um, it's called um, fast boot mode. And whenever the phone is off and you apply power, it will boot up. Another um, uh, rule is called boot up. And whenever the phone boots, it's supposed to run these series of, of actions. Uh, it doesn't. And that's because Automated Pro and Fast Boot Mode seem not to be compatible, but I kept this rule anyways. All right, so that's enough about Automated Pro. 
Um, what I'm going to new what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put Bringo in the front as if we're in the car, and I'm going to take away power. Uh, and watch to see what happens. So here we go. Power is going to go away. You should see the screen pop up a message that says EV off is going to be scheduled to run uh, very soon. And then what the phone will do is um, switch back to the home screen and then turn off the radios, put itself in airplane mode, and then in a few seconds darken the screen as it turns it off. And that puts it into super low power mode. And if you think about how you use your, uh, your phone in this context, it's in the glove box in my case, and it's going to sit in the glove box in the car all day while I'm parked at work. Um, when I come back from work, I turn on the car, and when I turn on the car, power is applied to the phone. It wakes up, it turns on all of its radios, and um, Bringo, if you notice, in the top menu bar, is already active because it never did turn off. So it's there, running in the background. And it's ready to go. Um, this seems to work really well. Uh, I wish that it there were better ways to do this, but turning an Android device into an appliance can be done. Um, it takes a little... It takes a little research and um, quite a bit of time to understand how things are done in the Android environment. I am not a programmer or a coder, so I don't know the rules in that regard, but I've done some programming and a little coding, and I understand some of it, and I can cookbook some of it, so that seems to work for me. Um, I'm going to take power away one more time and have the phone go to sleep. And um, it should not take more than about 10 or 15 seconds for it to do what it needs to do. And then I think we're good. Um, having said all of that, if you pay any attention to uh, how smartphones work, um, they require a great deal of energy to run all their radios. And... Um, if you have the screen on at the same time, then a lot of the energy that the phone is receiving from the power source is going to run those radios and keep the screen on. And that leaves not as much as you'd like to go to the battery. But if the phone can charge quickly, which most modern smartphones can, uh, then you'll have no problem keeping the battery relatively full. And if you wanted to, you could go in uh, manually and turn the screen on and off and that takes away an enormous energy drain which is what I'm trying to do here. It seems to work. So um, on we go.